Hey everybody, welcome back to Loop Inc. So let's continue destroying the space-time continuum. So I was about to make my move, and so I'm really tempted. I've got two more actions I have to do this round. One of them is go back to the garage, so I'm going to have to pick up another pinwheel, or propeller, which, you know, I, I, which was the original plan is I'll put it on here because then I've got the wheel and the propeller I need, and if I just get some spikes on this, now there are no more spikes to get. And after I launch, I won't be able to take spikes off this, but I need the spikes or the armor on this to be able to do the Mayan ball court. And instead, if my last two actions were to get a net and a propeller, I could launch this ship to do Gutenberg. But the problem is, since there'd be wastage, I'd lose one point. Plus, I wouldn't have gotten the opportunity to get rid of this... Uh, what do you call it? This camera, which is going to make me lose. So I'd lose a point. But I'd lose a point, but I'd gain four. So it's not that big a deal. So, do I go for the more efficient thing and avoid penalties by, you know, my next action being I could move this camera off of here and so then this ship would almost be ready to survive the Black Death. And next, on the third day, I'll get a spike and I'll be able to put it on here and I'll be able to score that six-pointer. But that means I'll have to wait till next turn to use this. Or do I use my last two actions to put a, a propeller and a net on here so that I can launch now? and score four points minus one. But I'd also have minus one over there. Well, I'd net two more on the whole, so I think fortune favors the bold. Even if I'm a little bit sloppy, I'm gonna go for it. So, my next action is gonna be, I'm gonna repeat my action from the first day and go to the garage again. There are no wheels, so I'm gonna take a propeller and put it on this ship. Okay, and at the end of my turn, at the end of your turn, you can, even if you have multiple time machines ready to launch, you can only launch one. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch this one now. Originally, I was gonna make this more efficient, but I've, I've given up on that, and instead I'm gonna launch, which means I score one point for the add, and seven points for the job, so that's eight points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go, all right. And if I play my cards right, I'll be able to launch this one as well and score. Although, but wait, but wait, but wait, again, this job, unfortunately, did not require a camera, so this was wastage, and I just lost one point. So I only made, made one less point on that job. But still, it's, it's worth it so that I can do another, I can actually run two jobs on this second day. Worth losing a couple of points for that. Okay, so now it's Jen's turn. She has one more action she can do today. And whatever it is, it's not going to be enough to be able to launch this. Let's see. You know, if she put another net on here, she could do this, but she's already done this job. She can never do it again. And, right, yeah, there's, you know, she can't, do, she can't do this job a second time. And so she doesn't have time to put two things. So Jen's got to be thinking about setting herself up for the final version of this day. This guy is already being said, this guy needs one more net and a spike. Jen will, first thing she's going to do next turn is move one of these spikes back over. And then the second thing she's going to do is she's going to go to the shop and get the last net on here. So her first two actions next turn are gonna get this thing ready for the big super job. Although she does the super job before she advertises, she's kind of regretting not advertising earlier in the day. So, she, But anyway, so, so there's that. And, which means this, starting next day, this is only gonna have one spike on it. So she should start building now for what is this guy gonna do on the last day. It's gonna have one spike already. And let's see, Jen knows next day, one spike comes off, one shot. So she's, oh, she's going to have to take another spike. And she's going to do a tangle, which is not really going to help her that much on the last day because she won't be launching again on the, on the next day. But she's going to take, uh, all right, so she's going to have to take another spike, which she'll either put on her most recent version of the ship, or she'll still have two spikes on that ship. So what is she putting on here? What does she want to build up for? Let's see. She could build up for, you know, two wheels and a camera. All right, but she's going to have a bunch of cameras on there. Or, let's see, she could build up for the OK Corral. Now, really, in a perfect world, what she wants to do is on her last day, this one she's planning on hunting a mammoth. This one she might plan for um, boats of the OK Corral. And this one, which will also have a spike, once she has, you know, because she has to buy another one, where would it go? She can't do this one. But she could try to build up for the last one to survive the Black Death, which means she's going to have to go to the garage and the shop. And she hasn't, she's never gone to the garage the whole time. So she's going to have to pick up some garage cards. And let's see, since she was thinking about this thing being building. Yeah, I think since Jen's never gone to a garage before, she better go to the garage now. So she's going to finally go to the garage. She's never 
picked up a wheel or a propeller. So her last action, there's only one left. So she will take this propeller and she can't put it on here because this has already left the station. So she'll put it on here. And so now this guy is building up to dodge bullets at the old K Corral on our third and final trip through this Tuesday. So that was Jen's last turn. And now at the end of her turn, she has the option to launch a ship, but she doesn't have on this ship what she needs to, and this other one has already been launched. So, Jen's done for the day. My last action, and I, once again, I totally forgot what I'm trying to do. Oh, right, yeah. I'm gonna go print books with Gutenberg, and then I shout, yes, okay. So I need a net, okay. For a second, I thought Jen had, uh, you know, fortunately I got that propeller before Jen did. Um, right, okay, so anyway, so I'm gonna take a net, which means I'm gonna go to the shop. This is my second. So on the last day, I'm gonna have to go to the shop twice now, and I get a net. All right, and at the end of my day, this guy, yeah, I didn't do an ad for it, but still, he's gonna go print books with Gutenberg. So, there's some wastage. This wheel, which wasn't required, it turns into a negative one point, so I lose one point for that, but I gain four points. One, two, three, four. Okay, so, and uh, that was that. Oh wait, did Jen get her points? Yeah, 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 she, she already did. So. At the end of the second day, I'm way, way, way in the lead. Although I might have lost track, I might have forgotten to score points. Nice thing is, you can, all, all right, but at the end of the day, all these slide off. They stay on here as a reminder, because remember, the first person to go here on a given day doesn't suffer a penalty, but if Jen had wanted to go to the same place on the same day, she would have had to put a ship here, and this would have been a reminder that Jen suffered a, sp a tear in the space-time continuum. So you don't slide these off until the end of the day. And, all right, so if you're ever worried that you've lost track of score, you can just, um, you know, figure it all out because all the stuff is still here. I made 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 18, 18, 17, 16. Yep, I'm at 16 points. That's correct. So far in the game, Jen has earned 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or, let's see, so that's... That's five, that's four. So Jen scored nine points. Yep, everything's, everything's kosher. So that was the end of the second day. Jen is still in last place, so she will still be the first to go on the last day. And so for this last trip through time, now the interesting thing is both of our ships, our first version of the ship, oops, don't wanna get these out of order, gotta keep them in order. The first version of our ship and the second version of our ship both travel back to the beginning of Tuesday. So now, I've got these two decked out ships plus my original ship all the way back from the beginning of the game. And now this one, you know, this guy never travels, so we just remove this from the game because Jen is in the same situation. She's got two decked out ships and one fresh ship because this is the ship that was always here at the beginning of Tuesday. These are the two that have ripped off the tape. And because we've done this again, we've ripped off the safe time community again, two more anomalies are created. Avoid. Remove a component from a shop, garage, or armory. The component can no longer be used in the game. So. If you can see that somebody desperately needs an item, you could do the void and just remove it from the game and that could really hurt them. And the overlap. Launch a time machine this turn to a spot already taken by another player. Your time machine must visit a spot already taken or will not be launched. You do not get a penalty when doing it. All right, so that's it. We're ready for the last day. Jen is the first player. She, over the course of the day, is gonna have to do these six actions and this is where the game really comes home because Jen has to plan her day out. She has to do three new actions plus all these six actions. And if ever she gets to a point where she has to do an action and she can't do it, she'll suffer a rip in the space-time continuum. And me, I've got the same situation with all of these actions that I have set up. Let's see how well we've done for ourselves. All right, so Jen is first right. And Jen's not going to advertise until her one, two, three, fourth action because she waited till way late in the day to do it. But so, so Jen's going to move, right? I totally forgot what's, what's happening here. All right, so Jen knows she wants to send this one to, what was it? Hanging Gardens. So Jen is going to use her first action. She's going to move. And so she'll move one of these spikes back over to this ship. And now this ship just needs one. Oh, wait, oh, I forgot. Of course, it's at the beginning of Tuesday, the beginning of Tuesday always had two nets, two cameras, two wheels, and two propellers ready to go because everything sets back up because it's the beginning of Tuesday. And what was it? Two armor. Okay. 
So far, nobody's ripped a hole in the space-time continuum. I've lost a couple of points, but things are going okay. I'm way in the lead. Let's see how well that goes. So Jen is moving. She's moved this spike over. And now she just needs to get one more net on this, and she could launch her mammoth. You know, or no, I'm sorry, not mammoth. The watering the hanging gardens of Babylon. Okay, so that was Jen's first action. Now my first action, if I want to do it, if I don't want to do a new action, is an armory. And it's interesting. Yeah, so... And I can see that Jen, at some point during the day, is going to try and do an armory as well. So, now this is an interesting thing. Remember, this is where the game can get a little mean. I could do this void, and I could use it to remove one of these armories from the game. And now that means, uh, you know, that would be my turn. Now there's only one, but both of us need it. And, because both of us are going to have to trip to go to the armory. And so if I do that... Then, you know, Jen, her next action is shopping. She'll, I'll be able to go to the armory on my second turn. She won't be able to go to the armory until her third turn. So I could, you know, use a void to get rid of one of those and really hurt her. Although what Jen could do instead then, instead of waiting to do the armory, Jen could do a new action of exchange, pull something off of one of her giving ships to get the other thing, and then I would hurt myself. But the thing is, would I, you know, by taking, uh, if I only take one rip, Am I doing it in such a way that I'll mess her up and slow her down because she needs to do other stuff? So that's an option I have. I could do that void because I can see both of us need to take visit the armory. Um, right, and I, I keep forgetting. What was I even going to be planning to do? Right, so this ship is all kinds of crazy decked out. This ship I was setting up, right, to be able to do bullets at the OK Growl. It just needs a wheel. And, um, you know, currently, I, I could just do a move to move one of these wheels over here. What is this ship going to be able to do on the last day? It's got two wheels and a spike. Wow, if I put a camera on it, it can go walk with Neanderthals. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. All right, well, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead. My first action is I'm going to do my original plan. I'm going to do an armory. And so this ship is ready to go. And in fact, you know what? I'm not even going to wait for the ad. I'm just going to launch it right now. Boom. So that is uh, because I need... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. This is a pinwheel. Hold on. Wait a minute. Arg. I'm already starting to lose track of stuff. It gets getting complicated. Right, I need... I need... Oh, all right, all right. Okay, so it's not that one. Was it... No, but it was this. Right. Oh, I just got set this up so it's this. So this isn't ready to go anywhere. I would... I need to get a wheel and an armor on here, but I have to pick up the armor. So when I pick up the armor, do I put it on here? Because then a wheel on here means that I could do dodge bullets, or do I put an armor on this one so that I have the chance to do something with my third ship as well? Although it's interesting, if I put an armor on here right now, I could just go on ahead and discover Antarctica right now. I get a little bit of wastage because I have this propeller I don't need, but I'd score four points and I could just get that done and this ship will have served its purpose. That's kind of tempting. And, um, you know, and then just spend the rest of the day retrofitting this for a trip to Neanderthals and setting this up for something. I don't know what. Hmm. Although the problem with that is... Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go on ahead and do that. Let's go surfing now. Right, wait, wait, no. What could this do? Oh, I'm driving myself nuts. It needs, right, no, this thing needs two. I can't go to either of these spots because I've already done these jobs. So it needs a, a wheel and an armor, or it needs, it would need, actually, this needs a wheel and an armor to do either of those, uh, the only two remaining, oh, wait, no, no, there's this one, right. I haven't, I haven't done either of these. That's what it was. So if I just put the armor, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my armor. I'm going to put it on here. And even though it's kind of wasteful, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm immediately going to launch and discover Antarctica, which is four points. One, two, three, four. But because I took along this propeller, it's removed from the game, and, or I'm sorry, not removed from the game, it's put over here, and I lose one point. So I only made three points on that last job. Okay, but, um, you know, I mean, it's, it's a good day if you can get, a good final day if you can get all three of your ships launched. So that was pretty good. And now this ship is, for all intents and purposes, out of the game. It's not gonna really be able to do anything else, okay. So that was my first action. Now, Jen's second action. She needs to get one more on this to do her big Hanging Gardens of Babylon, which is what? She needs another net. What's her new action? It's shopping, which would get her the net she needs. She's just going to go on ahead and do that. Get her other net. 
And now this ship is ready to launch. And what the heck, she'll just go on ahead and do it. She's still gonna have to advertise, but she'll advertise for doing something with one of these. So she'll do this and Jen just scored eight points. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Jen has just like that almost caught up with me. She's only a couple of points behind, okay. So that was Jen's turn. And now this ship with all of its stuff on it is, right, and this had everything, right? Yeah, it's, it's pretty much out of the game. So back to me, okay. So uh, now my next action is to shop, which will get me another camera or a net. And what did I need for this guy? I need a camera and I, yeah, right. So I'm gonna go ahead and shop as was foretold and I will get another camera. And now this guy is loaded for bear, although it's overkill. It's got the two wheels, it's got the camera, it's got spike, but I'll take another negative point so maybe I don't want to launch right away. It'd be nice to advertise for this to get an extra point. Plus that would give me time to get this propeller off by using an exchange or move so that I could not lose points off of this. Let's see, if I were to exchange this and put this propeller over here, what, am, what, what could I do with this last ship? If I move this propeller over here, I, need, I would also need spikes and a wheel. There's still spikes, but I can see Jen is about to grab the sp Oh shoot. I'm about to grab the spikes. No, I've already done spikes, right. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a new action. It is gonna be, uh, oh, right. Yes, it's gonna be exchange. So I take this and tilt it, so as a reminder, it's a new action. Now that means, I can, this ship has already launched. I can't do anything with it unless there's some crazy anomaly. I am going to Exchange. I'm going to take this propeller off of here because I don't need this for, what job was it? Yeah, for walking with Neanderthals. So I put this back. There are now three propellers. There's another, you know, space is going crazy. How could there be three propellers when there's only two at the beginning of the day? So I'm, I'm, I'm exchanging that and I'm going to take this armory. And now Jen is screwed. She, um, you know, Jen can't, she's going to have to do this action eventually. And there is no armory there at all. Now, Jen does have one option. Jen has a spike here. Jen could use an exchange to put this spike back up here so that in the future, she could use the armory and pick it up. So she might have to do that. But anyway, so that was my next move. And now at the end of my turn, this guy is ready to go. Oh, but you know what? I'm not gonna launch it yet because my next action could be advertised. So I'll advertise and get an extra point. So I'm not gonna launch yet. So now it's Jen's next turn. If she does what time has prepared for, she's gonna have to suffer a rip. Now a single rip is not that big a deal. It's just one point. But if Jen wants to, like I said, she could jump in, do an exchange, get one of these, or heck, actually what she could, yeah. So she would get rid of this to put something else on here and then she could still pick that up on the next turn, provided I don't pick it up. So I think, yeah, she's gonna take an exchange. To, you know, so she's refilled the armory and she can take something and she can put it on this ship. Now this ship wants a spike and wants wheels. Right. Or she could just go on ahead and grab a net now and then launch this ship and do print books with Gutenberg. Yeah, she'll just do that. She'll just go on ahead and grab this net and boom, this, and at the end of her turn, she's just gonna go on ahead and, or does she wait? Does she wait to advertise? I think she'll wait. She could launch right now, but she's gonna have to advertise eventually anyway. She knows I can never go here, so she's not worried about that. So she's not gonna launch right now, even though this ship is ready. And she has saved herself from my chicanery um, because now it's my turn. And now here's the thing. I, you know, Jen, you know, she solved her problem, but she's put herself in a bit of a pickle because this armory is sitting here. I could, there's one more armory card. I could visit the armory and take this and now they're all gone. And so I'd be taking another spike, um, which I could put over here, which would be wastage, or I could put over here, which would be wastage. Because I, there are no two, there's no job that requires two spikes. So I could do that, to, but I'd take a negative point to make Jen take a negative point. I think I've already, yeah, she got out of it, I'll just let it go. Um, but my original thing was, I'm just going to go ahead and advertise today for my second ad of the game. And it's going to be, I'm going to advertise that I'm walking with Neanderthals. And then at the end of my turn, I will, in fact, actually do that. So I just scored eight points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and I'm way back in the lead now. All right, so that was that. And I still got one more ship to launch. Okay. And so that was that, and I've got three 
I've got one, two, three, four, five more actions I've got to do. Uh, so that's five more actions to get this pumped up to do something cool. All right, so Jen's turn. She's gonna grab this armory while the grabbing is good. She'll go on ahead and take it. She'll put it back over here. And so now this is ready to dodge bullets. She could launch, but she's gonna wait to advertise for it. So Jen's done. My turn. Now then, I've gotta to go to the garage twice and I've gotta to go to the shop once. I'm a little bit nervous about that because there's only one thing in the shop. Although I can see Jen has no reason to take anything from the shop, so I'm not too terribly worried. I'll just go on ahead, and as was foretold, I will go to the garage. I can take a wheel, um, right, and what do I need? I need, well, I need, I need pinwheels and, so I'll just go on ahead and grab, well, there's fewer wheels, so I'll grab a pinwheel. So that was that. Oh, although, actually, I've got time. Do I want to just go for this five-pointer, or do I want to do something bigger? Like, see, like... If I could get two cameras, but you know what? There aren't two cameras. There's only one camera left, so that's out of the question. And I need to get, so, no, that's gonna be way too big. So I could go for this, because I need a wheel and a camera. And if I pick up that camera, and that's six points, as opposed to five points, but I don't think I wanna take the risk. I'm just gonna go on ahead and stick for bullets at the OK Corral. Okay, so that was that. And, right, so there we go. Uh, I've got that set up, bip bop. Right, we both say okay, corral. And that was a garage trip, and I have to make another trip for a garage, which is a problem, because that means I'm gonna have to pick something up, which will be wasteful. But I'll worry about that in a minute. Jen's turn. Jen is going to advertise. And here's where she freaks me out completely, because you have to pay attention to what your opponents are doing. Remember, I'm setting up to go to the okay, corral. Jen just advertised to go to the okay, corral. Um, because she has built the same thing I was building, and at the end of her turn, she's gonna do it. Boom, she just got five or six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. And she's occupying this space now. So if I go to the OK Corral as the second player to do it, I can do it, but I will lose a point. So I'll only score four points here. Plus, I cannot put an ad here. Although, I mean, that's okay. I, I don't have any more advertised actions in my future anyway, so I don't have to worry about that. Although it's too bad. See, so now that changes everything. I've still got this ship to launch. I was setting it up to come over here. And so if I do this, I don't get as many points. But now maybe if I want to chase after something else, I could get another ad, get my last ad place and go someplace else and not lose a point, but instead gain a point. Anyway, so Jen just did that. She's got one, two, three, four more actions to do, as do I. Although now, it's interesting, remember, I've got the, I could use this overlap, which means I could go to the same place as Jen without suffering the penalty. Okay, so maybe I'll just use the overlap and still plan to go there, because what do I need? I just need a pinwheel, and as it just so happens, my next preordained action was to go to the garage and grab a pinwheel, and so I'm ready to go to the OK Corral, but I'm not going to do it and lose a point. I'm going to wait and use the overlap and go there instead. Okay, Jen's next turn. So, she hasn't even started outfitting this ship yet. And she's got a tangle, which, which she's gonna have to do eventually, but this is, this is just like kind of a stalling tactic. Place any component from a shop or garage or armory on one of your ships that's already launched. And so, you know, Jen's already launched two ships. So, although she could still do the tangle to remove something from the board that I might need. Because there aren't very many things on the board left. Although Jen, if she's paying attention, she can see I'm going for that. So she can see I've already got what I need. And what does she need to do? What could she outfit this ship to do? With one, two, three, four turns left, but only four items in the garage. Uh, let's see. There's no more spikes. All, they're all gone. Jen hasn't done books for Gutenberg, but there's no nets. The nets are all gone because all the ships have launched. So she can never do print books with Gutenberg. She's already done this one. She's already done this one. She had right. She's already done Antarctica. She hasn't done this. And wow, everything is necessary for signed declaration of independence. There is a camera and a wheel. So Jen could go for that. It's tricky though, particularly because Jen can see that I'm going to shop, and so that that sells it for her. Jen is going to go shopping. It's her second new action, and she is going to grab this camera and put it on her original ship. And now that's a problem for me. I need to go shopping and I can't because Jen got it first. And both of my other ships are gone so there's nothing I can do about that. Ouch. Okay. So what am I gonna do? 
I say, well, as originally planned, I am going to use the overlap action. This is my second new action, which means um, launch a machine to a space that's already gone. So I'm coming here. Normally, I'd have to take a, a rip, but I don't have to because it's an overlap, and I score five points. One, two, three, four, five. So, and now I've got two more actions to do, but all my ships are launched. So, um, I, I just have to, but the thing is, every time I, I have to shop, and now there's no way about it. I'm gonna take a rip in the space-time continuum, plus I'm gonna have to do something else, which might be a second rip. We'll have to worry about that in a second. All right, so Jen's action, she's got, she has to do one more new action plus these last actions. Is that right? She's done one, two, three, four, five, six. I've done one, two, three, six, seven. How is that? I have lost track, shoot. I have lost track because Jen was the first player, not the last player. Oh, darn it. Oh, I'd have to rewind the tape. I got myself confused. At some point, I took two turns in a row, or, yeah, oh, gosh darn it. Or did I draw a card when I wasn't supposed to? <sighs> darn it. Well, okay, I, I can't fix that, but we'll just say I went first in this round, which I shouldn't have done. I'm sure Paolo has already made a note of where I got confused, but still, this is not about perfect rules. This is just about trying to give you a feel for the game. So Jen, she's got this tangle, which she can just do anytime she wants, but she needs to get this ship outfitted ASAP. So Jen, let's see, she has to go to the garage once, but Jen's gonna go to the garage as a new action, and she's gonna get this wheel before it's gone, and now all she needs to do is get a propeller, which she'll be able to do off of this action. Okay, so that was Jen's turn. It's my turn. I've got, because I've got myself screwed up somehow, I've got my, sh I have to go shopping, which is gonna hurt me, plus I have to do one more new action. Um, let's see, and it has to be an action I can actually do. And here's the problem. Can I do any action? I can't, I can't do any action. I can't move components because all my ships have launched. I can't exchange components because all my ships have launched. I can't trash components. I can't take components because I don't have any place to put them. I can't advertise, well I can advertise, but that means when I fail to achieve my goal, I'll lose three points. I can do the warp anomaly, I can't do the warp anomaly because I don't have a time machine, or I can do the void. Right, okay, I'm gonna do the void. Right, okay, because I can do that. Phew, that was close. That was my last new action. Remove a component. I'll just remove this. Phew, okay. Thank heavens for that anomaly. Okay, Jen's turn. Jen. Oh, wow. That actually really hurts Jen. She has to do a tangle, then she has to do a garage. She need, And this is the last thing in the garage. If she does a tangle, she'll take that thing, and it won't be able to go on here, and she won't make her last launch. Wow. So that means Jen's gonna have to, if Jen now goes to the garage, she can't, she has no more new actions. Wow, 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 oh no. So Jen has to tangle. Place any component from the shop, garage, or armory on one of your time machines that, that has already launched. Jen has to do it, she has to put it on a time machine, doesn't really matter what. Now this might not have been so bad, wait, yeah, okay, this is a new action. And now my mass action is I'm gonna shop. There's nothing to shop, so I take a negative one. So I just lost a point. And now Jen, this is her last action. She goes to the garage. There's nothing, so she takes a negative one. And she can't launch because that void removed the last thing Jen needed to be able to do that last launch. If she had done that last launch, whatever it was, she would have gotten six more points. One, two, three, four, five, six, and she would have been right behind me. But as it is, she didn't, and instead she lost a point. And that's it. Although, like I said, it's all very suspect because at some point I got myself confused about turn order, but you can see how the plans you lay for yourself at the beginning of the game can come back to haunt you at the end. And in this game, I reign triumphant and um, you know, I launched all, yeah, I, lo I launched one, two, and three. So I had a pretty perfect area. I took, I, I took some penalties along the way to do it. I mean, I lost four points along the way, but still on the whole, Jen only suffered one penalty the whole game, but she um, launched two fewer ships than me. So that's why I won Loop Inc. Although again, it's all very suspect because I got myself confused on turn order at some point. Sorry about that, but hopefully you guys have a pretty good idea of just what a mind screw this game could be. And if you'd like to hear some final thoughts now, you can hit the button that's on screen or follow the show notes in five, four, three, two, one.